Hey yo, you know what it do? It's short boy, tiny forms in the cut, and we are back. Man, it feels so good to say we're back. Yeah. <laughs> it's a second episode behind the creation podcast where we solely speak to the people that are behind the creation of things that we see here and anything that we just appreciate with our eyes. Um, and today we are sitting with well, one of the most talented visual artists that I know. Naleti. What do you do? How are you? I am great. Thanks in yourself. I'm good. I'm I got the yashi so bad. It's damn hard. <laughs> it is very hard. It's, it's very hard. hard. Maybe because I was going to be here, but we'll never know. <laughs> we'll never know. You good though? Yeah. Like, and now I'm good. Now I'm all good. Yeah. Mm, now how's your day? How's your day? Uh, my day was busy. Mm. I was just delivering orders. But yeah, it was yeah. pretty chill. Hey, yo, man. Shout out to Naleti, man. She hooked me up with this tea. It's her tea. She's selling it. She's got different designs. She's also wearing her own, mm -hmm. another design of hers. Uh, I want to talk about this piece. Sorry, I want to yeah. talk about this piece here. When okay. I saw it, I was like, "Hey, There's I think because this, yeah, this is one of the first pieces I think I yeah besides the uh, the cookout one, but mm -hmm. this is like one of the first pieces I yeah. saw of yours. Um, I was teaching myself to use pastels mm. instead of paint. So I there's a model from Brazil. Her name is Avril, and she's just beautiful yeah and she looks like a african you know woman and I, I just loved her image and i asked her to you know to do an a portrait of her and she was like yeah sure so i picked this to do um, a what sorry a portrait oh, of okay, her okay. yeah so i picked this piece because it was a profile of her it wasn't the norm you know when we appreciate women we want to see your face mm. but this time it was side profile because every African woman vibe, you know? Mm. So I was just teaching myself how to use pastels and that's literally, it just oozed out of me basically. Yeah. So the reason why I chose this piece, it's not finished here. Ooh. And that's what, it just seems raw. Yeah, it's a journey, you know, it shows that it, I was in the beginning stages of like learning a new technique because I'm yeah. self-taught. So I was fun. learning something and I just love that it's just showing, you know, the process. So that's what that t-shirt is about, and that's what that piece is about, the process and the journey. So the piece itself, you're saying it's unfinished. Yes, it's unfinished, yeah. but did mm. you did you finish it? Yeah, I did finish it. Uh, but then that, doesn't that take away from the story? It doesn't take away from the story because you're seeing the beginning, and yeah, you need yeah. to see the end as well. True, true. Yeah, so it kind of resonates with me because I'm very open about my journey and yeah. my art. So you do see the beginning, like the process, because most artists don't want to show the process because it looks bad or whatever, mm. but I'm embracing like the, the flaws of my work, you know, because I'm self-taught. I'm still learning. I still have a lot to learn. So yeah, like you need to see what happened at the end, and that's there. So this pastel, like, is the only pastel drawing that you've no, done? No, it was the first, first pastel. Yeah, first pastel. So all your teas are the pastel drawings. It's uh, mostly pastel, and then now I'm going because this one is also pastel work. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So this was a photo by Shillington. Oh, Shillington. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So I asked him, yeah, well, can I use this image? Yo, shout out to Shillington, man. <laughs> yeah. Needs so it, yeah, man. it's gorgeous like i loved his picture and i was just like once again african woman you know embracing their beauty side profile front view you know Ooh. that vibe you know yeah, yeah, yeah. so yeah so then the rest are going to be uh, pouring art which is my exhibition that's coming up so it's pouring art like hey yo slow down <laughs> <laughs> She's yeah. already talking about the exhibition. Slow uh, down. Yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> so that's the pieces that are going to come out now. So yeah. it's not only pastel. There's also acrylic, liquid tempera, and all that stuff. So it's different things. Okay, so you were talking about like how this piece also like represents on how you were self-taught and whatnot. Can mm -hmm. you just like, can you tell us about the journey, man? Like where the it started? Journey. Where did you start? Like, yeah. Like besides basic. arts, besides arts. Okay. Like where did... Where I was growing up, everything like that. Um, with me, when I was little, I used to live with my grandmother, Ipulwa, um, in Makaya, basically. And it was beautiful. It's I think that was the highlights of my life so far, like living with my grandmother and then moving in with my parents. It was just a beautiful yeah, well, place. And yeah. they let me be creative. I was very loud. Did, did you sing? I sang, I danced, I acted, I created stuff. Like I was very creative. Yeah. I used to like do dramas in, in the lounge, like with my parents. And okay. they had to watch me disrupt generations. So I 
was that kid, you know. They knew that I'd be creative. That's why they've embraced yeah, well, the journey like oh, now. So yeah, because they already supportive. knew, yeah, they knew that there was something here. And then I went to high school and that's where I discovered wait, wait, art. Pine Town Girls High School. Okay, Shout okay. out Pine Town Girls. Yeah, that's my Pantone. school. Uh, <laughs> I, I, <laughs> yeah, so I had an art teacher. So I had the same I just like by mistake always get the same teacher so uh, miss bloom used to teach me from grade eight till matric so she drill like oh, the, yeah the she, she was my visual okay. art teacher and yeah. she from day one she was like there's something about you and you need to like you know zoom in on that and just keep cultivating your creativity mm. and then she was just she take my art to galleries and try and put it in competitions and I'd win. And so I, I realized that, you know, this is what I love. Then when I went to varsity, my teachers advised my parents to let me study something academic because I was, yeah, well, academic. I was really good with academics. Mm. So they were like, you already know art. You already understand. You'll succeed even if you don't have a qualification, yeah. but have a backup. So I studied retail business management in DUT. I did four years BTEC. I graduated last year. So mm, when I graduated, how's that? Do you enjoyed that? Um, no, it was <laughs> terrible. I used to sketch in class, and my teacher would say, "You need to go do arts. Like, why don't you just swap onto arts?" And Yo, I was like, uh, "I don't, don't want to, like, you know, you know." <laughs> so I, it always, you know, led me. So I did modeling. I tried. Yeah, I did a lot of things in varsity, like trying to find myself. You yeah, know, yeah. trying to find that creative side. And then once I was done studying in 2019. You know that you're like when you're waiting to graduate because you graduate in May or September, or if, so you're just sitting and yeah, waiting to get a job, I know and the it's year just when like stressful, <laughs> 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 and you're like stressed, <laughs> and you think your life has come to an end, yeah. and you just want to die, <laughs> and that was me. Okay. So I was just like, okay, let me just do what I know, and which is art. Mm. So I did my first piece, which is my logo right now. So I did that, and it was acrylic, and I, I didn't know what I was doing. It's it's me work. with, like, sunflowers around, and then oh, my afro. Oh, I know that piece. Yes, okay, and then, okay. yeah, that piece. Yeah, and then purple, I, purple or pink background. There's purple, pink, yeah, and yeah, yeah. orange, yeah. Okay. So I did that, and then I posted it. And everyone was like, oh, that's so cool, you should do this, you know. And then I met a lot of people who were, like, encouraging me, pushing mm. me, and supporting me. And then it just blew up from there. And then I was like, me? Work, come long, never. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh hell no. So, so that's like, why. That, that's when you cut the. Yeah. What you were studying. Yeah, that's when I was like, I I'm not going back to retail, mm. and so I need to do something else because I love money. I don't want to be poor. Oh, I sure. just I need to make it because yeah. I don't. I have, I like things. You yeah. know, I like expensive things, and yeah. So I was just like, I need to work hard, and you know, achieve. You know better for myself mm. so yeah that's how it went and i've just i think what works for me is that i've been really open about my journey mm. i didn't go to varsity for arts i just do what i love every single piece is a piece of who i am i'm yeah. literally giving you you know my, my my what i love and it's an extension of me and that's what people vibe with authentic and genuine and it's just you know Mm. It's like a love song, basically, you Ooh. know. So it's that type of vibe, and like I think it. that's what makes it work. So that's me in a nutshell. Yeah. So, una lady and um, her and her family. Mm -hmm. What What do they? I don't want to say what do they trust more. Yeah. But like at the at the at the current moment in where you are and mm -hmm. like with arts. Yeah. Um, is your family like pushing you in the direction of arts or? Are they trying to get you to do what you studied for? Mm. I think for a while they wanted me. They were like, okay, try the art thing yeah, yeah. and then see where it goes, but still try to get a job. And, you know, my mom would buy me like interview clothes and yeah. all that stuff. So she still had that thing in her mind yeah. that you have to have a backup. But now, like now, 100%. 100%. They're even like showing me designs of different studios that mm. we can build, you know. So I, I, they're just taking it in and they've accepted that this is who I am mm. and this is how I should live. And oh, cool. another thing is that I'm allergic to the smell of seafood. So when I'm at work, I always have episodes like someone will bring fish and whatnot. So it's not a good environment for me to work with other people anyways. Oh. So I'd rather be safe like <laughs> working oh, alone. Damn. So it's, it's also like 
helping them now they don't have to stress because now yeah. I'm working, you know, from home or I'll be at studio or whatever. Ah. So those are the elements where they see that, okay, this is where this child is supposed to go, you know. So these are the things, the factors that are like being weighed. Yeah. So they really do support. They see the art now. Okay. Yeah. And uh, very, very early, you mentioned E Nakuzan, your exhibition. Mm-hmm. So, like, what is that about? Um, I'm smiling because I'm really excited about it. Is it. Yeah. So my exhibition, I've already have, I've already had I'm a showcase that I've had, but they weren't mine. Like it was supported by maybe Umaspala or you know Durban Art Gallery mm. or Trina Shope um, Foundation or whatever. So I've done stuff. You know I've been out there, but now it's just me. 100% my budgets, 100% my vision, 100%, mm. you know, my art, yeah. and it's just all about me. And it's it's like a launch in a way. I'm launching that, okay, cool, this is what I've built, this is me, this is 100% what I'm doing, and I, I've committed 100% to this. So, me, this is, you know, Naledi Art. Mm. So that's what it's going to be. I'm going to be exhibiting my art, my first exhibition, my first collection. It's a series called the Profile Series. Yeah. And Ooh. it's just a collection of profile view, artworks, portraits of people that are paving a way for other people in their industries. Okay. So if you're doing something, whichever industry that you're in, you're looking back and saying, who can I take with me in this journey? Mm. And those are the people that I'm featuring in my artworks. And it's mostly black people who are doing amazing things in their own industries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, so that's course. what my exhibition is about. So is it, um, is it just your work or are you... No, it's just me. It's, it's just, just my you. work. 100% my work. And how many pieces are we looking at? Um, I wanted to be at, at 30... Mm. I want it to be around 30 pieces, mm. but we'll see. Because it has to be... When I think of an artwork that's just me, not a commission, like someone doesn't... Not, so not someone ordering and whatnot. It, I usually see it in a dream. Or I'll just stop and just see a vision. Or I'll, it'll just pop up somewhere, and then I, I'm created. So I don't want to say 30, and then I'm not getting these visions, or oh, I'm not sure. seeing it, or you know, I'm yeah. not imagining it, or it's not coming to me. So it's going to be a lot of work of just things that are, are coming to me that are mm. natural, you yeah. know. Because sometimes I'll be just sitting and I see I see the artwork, like that person sitting there, I see the artwork. And yeah. that's how I see things, you know. Oh. So yeah, that's how it is. Yeah, and that's where I'm going to take the vision. Yeah. Oh. I've never heard someone explain an exhibition like that. <laughs> it's always like how? That's, I don't know, it's, it's, it's usually just like exhibiting things. Mm-hmm. You know, I, mean, I don't know if it's maybe the way I've looked at things. Mm -hmm. I haven't been to much uh, art exhibitions. Exhibitions and stuff, all right. Um, but I guess it just makes me look at it another way now, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. Because I guess it is, of course, artists Yeah. Uh, thinking in, in their own ways and yeah. having their own understandings that m some people might not understand. Mm -hmm. But once explained, you know. It becomes clear. You, you get a warmer feeling. Uh, yeah. It's like, oof. <laughs> That's, that's how good. that made me feel. That's good. That's yeah. awesome. I vibe with that. So is there is there a piece that you can say, Uguti? A wole piece, Lynn? Mm. Aye. There is. Mina, sorry to cut you. Mina, yeah. there's this one there that I saw. Mm -hmm. I think it's like a lady looking up mm -hmm. with like water going down her. Is, uh, is, is that a lady looking up? I see. I see that one. It's yes. black and blue. That's the one. Okay. That's the one. Okay, yeah. Okay, cool. I'm like, yes. That's the one um, that I created. I, I dreamt it. Oof. So I was sleeping and then I just had this vision and I was like, I need to do this now. Yeah. So I woke up and I sketched it. I remember you said Yes, this. I yeah. sketched it and then um, I let the primer dry and then the next day I, got, I went and bought the paints and then I, I just did it. I didn't even check it. I just did it, and then I let it dry. The next day, I woke up, and it just, I feel like it created itself. Yo. And that is one of my favorite pieces, because I was just exploring and trying to see how this is going to go. And what I love about that piece is that I found my thing. Even if I don't put my signature on that work, you'll know that's an Aledi art piece, mm. because I've combined two techniques, and I've created something new. Like, what no one else has done that. What are these techniques, yeah? 
it's pouring art and mm. then portrait art because it's acrylic and pouring art, which is liquid tempura. So you're saying this is something that has n- never been done before. Heavy. <laughs> it's never Heavy. been done before. Yeah. And you heard it here first on BTC. <laughs> My lady, breaking hey, records, creating yes, history. It's Oof. a must. It's a must. So what do you what do you call that style? Are, are you, did you name I, it? I, I haven't named it. My That's why I'm like, yeah, Arts. I don't know. I really don't know. I'll see. Oof. I think as, as I'm creating more, because I'm seeing a lot of, you know, I th- it, it just solidifies that this is what I need to do. Because I'm yeah. seeing a lot of, lots of pieces are coming into my mind. And I'm really excited because I can't wait for everyone else to see, you know. So I'm happy. I'm really happy with it. I'm, I'm glad that you see the vision as well, that Man. you like that piece. Yo, because yeah. I, I, um, I do scroll through your, through your wall. Mm-hmm. When did you post? You posted it recently. Yeah, recently. Very recently. Mm-hmm. Um, so you did do it recently. Right? Yeah, I did, I did it recently. The day I dreamed it, I woke up and I did it. So it was a week ago or yeah. so. Yeah. And it was like, I had never seen it. Mm. So that's what, I yeah. guess that's why I was like, yo. Because mm. it was like, yo. <laughs> Shout out to That's you, good. man. That's good. Thank Shout you. Out. And what is your, or do you have, do you ever make like, do you have those dreams? Mm-hmm. And then I know like, you know, like how artists feel about their, their pieces, you mm-hmm. know, how like they personal. Yeah. Um, especially the, the, the most spontaneous ones. Yeah. Um, they personal and whatnot. Mm. So the personal ones versus the ones that you do for clients, etc. Mm-hmm. Oh wait, for, for the ones that you do for clients, um, obviously there are some requests, but are there clients that ever say, hey, besides even like saying, hey, specifically pointing at a piece and saying, I want this one. Yes. Do they ever be like, okay, um, I just want an odd piece that makes me feel this way. Mm-hmm. Can you do this for me? Yeah, you do get it. Oh. Sometimes they'll say, I want an art piece where when people walk into my house, they feel at home. Mm. So you translate what home is to you. Mm. I don't, I don't, I don't care what it looks like, what it is, but trans make me feel at home, and that's what I'll create, yeah. like what I envision. And sometimes you'll have a conversation with them and understand their view of home, because sometimes you know it won't resonate with them, same, my, yeah. you know, because we all come from bif- different backgrounds. backgrounds. And we all have our definitions of home. So, yeah, sometimes someone will say, I bought a house and I just want my house to feel like a home. Mm. And that's what they'll get. Yeah. yeah. But that's rare because I feel like for me, I'm still teaching people to appreciate and understand art. Okay. You know, especially in our black communities. Yeah. We look at it, we like, but we never purchase. Mm. So it's, 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 we're starting to get it more. When I say we, like in the art industry, like mm. there are more people who are willing to let the artists create and not dictate what should come out, you know, of the oh, piece. Sure. So it's, it's becoming a, a recurring thing, but not that much. It's very rare. Mm. It's very exciting when it happens because you're like, yes, finally I have control. So yeah, it doesn't happen a lot. So I don't want to oh, lie. Okay. Mm. I think maybe I'm not in that stage. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I I, I'm not in that stage. So you'd like to get to that stage? Yes, that's oh. why I'm doing my own collection so that people can trust my uh, my vision better. Because right now they trust that when you do a, a portrait of me, I know what it's going to look like. I, can, I know what to expect. Mm. But if I say, show me your vision, I'm not sure what you do. Mm. So after my collection, they'll know what I do and they can trust my vision. Do you think um, all artists have that, that feeling of... Uh, they would want to be more in control of what they put out there or what they give to. Definitely. Definitely. Because it gets boring mm. painting people all the I time. See, I see. Sometimes I get tired of seeing people. <laughs> like you send me your selfie and you want me, I'm like, you took the selfie, keep the selfie, go print it out and put it on your wall. Like, you know, so w- it, it gets boring. I don't want to lie. So sometimes it's nice to get creative freedom and do something different and have, it just feels good knowing that someone trusts my vision, you yeah. know. They, they just appreciate that this art piece came from Unalid. Mm. That's all I want. I yeah. don't care what it is. And so I think all artists want that trust from their clients 100%. that I just, you know, that's why you have your own exhibition in, and your own pieces because you Show want people, people to just got. take what you give them yeah and that's how you create a legacy because mm. you can't always rely on people ordering their own things that's why i'm so busy and that I, I don't like that in a way because now i'm they are dictating how my day goes because 
I ordered and I want my artwork next week. So I'm not gonna sleep creating, you know, the orders and stuff. So if I'm I'm creating my own work, I know that I can create 30 pieces in like two months, yeah. and I know my goals and at my own pace and creating my own work, you know. But if you taking orders all the time, it does drain you because you're not doing anything new, you're not exploring, you're not advancing your skills, you're not trying new techniques, and you're not growing as an artist. Mm. So if you're doing your own work, then you grow because you, you have the freedom to try 100%. something new. Yeah. I can actually uh, very much relate with that because mm -hmm. that's how I actually feel about uh, the video work as well. Mm -hmm. Because I guess it, um, it doesn't, yeah, it does actually kind of necessarily like, it narrows out your, your your ability to actually like be creative, yeah, it does. you know, or mm. be able to express your creativity to a state that, you know, you grow from it. Because mm -hmm. you know, like, hey, can you do this, this, and this? Yeah, yeah I can do this. But yeah, like, like what more? Yeah, yeah, exactly. I, I feel that. I feel that. So, anyways, mm. um, so what what I wanted to ask before was though, um, ah, I think I wanted to phrase it in a different way though. Mm -hmm. But are there if, are there ever like pieces that you do and you're like, ah, oh, this is this is this is shit. Like I, like I don't like it. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, they are. Mm. But like... So are those more of the client works or your works? Client. Oh, okay. Client. If I really, really don't like it, I won't give it to them. I'll start over. Mm. So if I really, I feel like, because this represents me, it'll go to Joburg and it's there. And every time someone sees it, they say, that's an lady art piece and I'm going to be embarrassed. So if I really, really don't like it, I'll, I'll, even if the client is like, no, I like it, I'm like, I don't like it, you know, yeah. so then I'll start over. But there are some pieces where I'm exploring and I'm trying something new. I do it, I don't like it, I keep it. A year later, I bring it up and I'm like, oh my gosh, okay, now this is the time for this piece. Oh. Do you get me? So, so it sometimes like it's, it's... Way ahead of your, of your yes. time. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so that's, that's what happens. Is that so sometimes I don't have the understanding yet. Oh, damn. Yeah, so that's what happens. So it'll only be temporarily shit. Yes. So it, to me, though, because okay. everyone always sees the art like, oh my God, it's amazing because mm. everyone mm. has their own translation. Yeah, yeah, but sure. I'm my own critic, so I'll always be like, eh, I don't like this. And then six months later, I'm like, this is actually not bad. Like, you know, I can I can build on it, mm. you know. So, yeah, it happens. It really does happen. But it's the client works that you can't really build on. It's like, ah. Yeah, I just have to start it over and redo it, and then it looks better. Because oh. now I, I've already done it, so I know what to tweak, and mm. then, yeah, then I'll send it out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, damn. I see that. Mm. So, do you ever see yourself being a teacher? Like, in a... In a school? Um... No. Okay. The only thing I would do is have an art program. So that's one of my dreams. And oh, like a salon art? No, no, no. No, no. Where we teach kids to create art on a more commercial level. Not the trees, the Christmas trees oh, and like the bells so, and like whistles. Like when you say, you know? I'm a... Like arts and craft and all that stuff. Like no, but, but you just called it something. What did I say? You said have have what? Campaigns? No, no. No, I said uh, art programs. Programs. Yes, that's the art programs. So yeah. a mosque is that like a like a workshop? Not like a workshop. Yeah. Okay, in my high school, we used to have art club every Thursday after school, and we would they'd give us projects. If there's a musical, we'd create the decorations from scratch. Mm. So that's that's not creating like little useless things. Like the art will be seen by everyone at the musical and it'll create the scene and you know all these things so you're seeing arts in a different way where it's useful and you know so i want programs like that in high schools where kids are creating art that could be in a gallery and they see that okay i can do this commercially and i can do it as a job and i can do it as a career not just i'm really good at arts i want a competition yay good for you mm. you know so that's the kind of programs that i'd have instead of teaching people because there are some people that can't can't and there's taught. nothing you can do. Uh, no, don't say that. Uh, <laughs> they are. I'm serious. No, they are. Uh, they I think, are. I think like, I think like, <laughs> oh, God. 
maybe like in the beginning of high school, I wasn't too bad mm -hmm. when I had to do it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But I feel yeah. like o over time... But wasn't it uh, technical drawing? No, no, no. But I'm talking about our visual drawing. Okay, now. You okay. You know, like when we have to do it like uh, grade eight, whatnot. Oh, whatnot. yes. Arts and crafts. Yeah. Arts and culture. Arts and culture. Yes. Whatnot, you know. Uh, yeah. Like drawing like a person's face mm -hmm. and stuff, you know, that, the stuff that you do. Yeah. I feel like I wasn't too bad. Mm. I really wasn't too bad. And you could build bad. on that. You know? Mm. Um, but then I think I think it was EGD that kind of messed it up. Mm-hmm. Because, like, now they're drawing with rulers and mm, whatnot. And whatnot. it's like, you know, focusing on different things. Like yeah. But now, when I came back to trying to do this, mm. I think I'm a really bad drawer now. I think it's because they dictated what yeah, well, drawing should be. And then now you lost that creativity. Because when you're drawing in grade eight, it's just a sense of wonder. The, the teacher walks around like, oh, grade eight, just do what you feel, you know, mm. make it pretty. And then you're just like, freedom, you know, the whole time. Yeah. And then in, in, in TD, I think it's a TD. Yeah. Then you're just like, okay, it, it should be a house and it should have four walls. And, you know, yeah, then yeah. you're just following the rules. Yeah. You know, I, I think that's where we lose it. And that's kind of what hap happens in our stages like uh, in life mm. we have the talent and then it's diluted as we get older because there mm. are a lot of people who are in corporate careers but they'd kill to be in art, in art in one way or another music you know photography videography art like in any way they'd mm. kill to be in that but as you grow up you're told that you can't make money off of that so you have to like pick a job and put food on the table. Mm. So that's what happens to a lot of people. So we do need programs, you write, where there are art lessons for adults as well, where you can just create art. No one's judging you, you don't have to sell it, but you're just, you know, reliving that childhood sense of wonder, expressing that freedom, yourself. expressing yourself, mm. just enjoying yourself and doing something where no one's judging you, no one's telling you what to do, there's no due dates, there's no rules, you know? Mm. So we do need stuff like that. And that's why we want to do now lady art sessions, food, wine, music, and na, art. Na, na, na. Another one. <laughs> that's yeah. a whole ad. Mm -hmm. Let's see what's, what's going on now. Uh, I'm what's just going, going on with the elements. Now lady what? Now lady art sessions. All right, all right, let's go. So wait, we went from the t-shirts mm -hmm. then we went to the exhibition coming coming in feb yes can you quickly explain to us how do we get like how do we get in how like, do you RSVP? get in um okay so all the marketing's being yeah well, created and everything's in the works but the exhibition is invites only oh because that's my thing that's mm. my journey Intimate. the people that have been yeah, we're well, going Ooh. through everything with me. Mm. And then we're going to have the Naledi Art Sessions, which will you I'll sell tickets and then people can get in. So sorry, the people that have been going through everything with you, does like, does three months count? Like uh, <laughs> 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 so three months. Does <laughs> <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. Because there are people in the industry as well, people that I'm going to go forward yeah. with as well. Because oh, okay, I do, okay. I still have to sell my art going forward. So oh, I can't yeah. keep it. So you'll see, you'll see. Oh, right, right. So hint, hint, you'll see, you'll see. <laughs> you'll see. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Sorry, films in the cut. <laughs> yeah. Mama made it. Yeah. <laughs> have your moments. So yeah. And then we'll have the Naledi Art Sessions. We'll mm. sell tickets because you will get canvas, paint. So I'm I, 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 okay, no, no, no. So, okay, now we're talking about the later uh, art session. session. Okay, so we went from, sorry, I was busy counseling. <laughs> you know, it's, so it's There's a, a t-shirt, the exhibition. Yes. Now now we're talking about the, the, the art, art sessions. sessions. You know, keep yes. up, keep up. Mm -hmm. uh, the Naledi art sessions. sessions. What's, yes. What's up there? So with the Naledi art sessions, I want to create, I want to create an environment for different types of art. There's food. That's mm. an art. Food is life. Food oh, is sure. amazing. Mm. God, food is good. Nice. And then there's music. Check now. I told you I'm <laughs> starving. I told you right now. Sorry. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. Hey. So then there's music. I'll include DJs and mm. people who play violin. Hey, yo, shout out to my boy DJ Motion, man. Oh, God. Yo, you see. <laughs> shout out to my boy. Shout out to my boy. <laughs> and then we'll have violins. Like arts that are for white people, but <laughs> by black people. <laughs> You know, you, you don't see a, a black person playing a piano often. So it'll be nice to know, get to know those people mm, who do that, mm, you know. Mm. So them organs, them violins, them flutes, you know. Mm, so we're mm. going to, you know, shout out to those people who are doing yeah. that. So if you know someone, hit me up. Okay. <laughs> and then it'll be, okay, then it'll food, music, art. And then there'll be wine because obviously booze. I don't drink, but I, so I have to cater that part. So yeah. wine. And yeah, so it'll just be 
kind of like playing with all your senses in a way. Yeah, like phonetic class wine. I got I'm not saying you look like an alcoholic. I'm just saying. Wow, like, I was about to say. Do no, I look not like even. Just like mm. I don't know, like you know, with your paintbrush, mm, like thinking what you will do next. No, 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 no. With your huge glass of wine. I don't drink at all. Nah, that's cool. Yeah. So, cool. so it's just playing with all your senses, sense of touch, yeah. hearing, sight. You know, so it's all those type of elements, and then you'll get to know different people, and just create something. So mm. what will happen is. Not we're not gonna have an artist there teaching you, and we we we'll all create the same artwork. What's beautiful about this is that you get to create your own artwork. Okay. I'm just assisting you with the techniques, mm. and you know, building on what you're doing. So we'll enjoy ourselves and just have a good time. So obviously there'll be tickets for that because you do get a lot of stuff oh, coming sure, with that. Okay. And then yeah, that's Na Lady Art Sessions. Man, that's a great initiative, man. Thank Shout you. Shout out to you. Thank you. Shout out to Na Lady Art, man. Hmm. So with the uh, exhibition, is hmm. it like is it an annual thing you want to do? No, it's not an annual. It's less than annual. Hmm. So it might be every three months or oh. so. So it'll depend. So what I'm going to do with this exhibition, I wanted to go to different galleries with this first one. Hmm. And then I'm going to start releasing other, you know, collections. Okay. Co- and then it's going to obviously be the launch of that. Because you always have an opening night for the exhibition. So okay. we'll have an opening night and then it'll go to different galleries. So that's what opening I'm trying nights, to do. Opening nights, what happens in opening nights? Opening nights, uh, you invite different people in the industry, art industry, you know, to kind of like put the art out there uh-huh. and present it to the world as well. Mm. And then you explain what was happening, what's the concept and whatnot. So it's a night where everyone just enjoys themselves and then we view the arts. So that's an opening night. Uh-huh. Then get anyone, the public can come and see, view the arts in the uh, gallery. So example, if it's at the Durban Art Gallery, we'll have an opening night maybe at six and there'll be different people just viewing the arts. I'll mm. explain, there'll be music, and, you know. And then after that, anyone can come in and see the arts and purchase as well. Mm. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing. But with this first one, it's gonna be at the first location, secret location. Oh, secret location. Yes, and then As it's gonna go around. <laughs> then it's gonna. Go to Sweden. I'll tell you some nice things in Sweden. Actually, go to Sweden. Tell us about But yeah, so that's that's the plan. Mm. Mm. Oh no, that sounds great, man. Mm. Damn. Your girl doing things. Yes, we have to. Your girl have doing a things. Ah, that's very nice, man. Mm. Um, did you play netball in high school? No, I was too played short nothing. for sports. I played hockey, and then they hit my ankle, and I was and done. And you were done. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh hell no, oh hell, I'm not about to lose a foot, and then I was done. And then I, I played softball. <gasps> that was fun. Yeah. I, I, I was third base, and mm. I was terrible. I was terrible. Mm. I was in second team. But it was fun. Like, I loved the people and, you know, just doing something different instead of just art. Yeah, that's that's as much sports as I played. No, that's. I just wanted to ask that. I just, I don't know, it popped in my mind. Yeah. I just asked <laughs> yeah Anyways, mm. so, um, corporate mm-hmm. artistry mm. versus independent mm. artistry. Mm-hmm. This is now visual art. Yeah. Because I know, like, um, I guess when we talk about art, we talk about, you know, uh, basically everyone that would be on this podcast here, mm-hmm. uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Yeah. Um, the BTC, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, like, your musicians, like, if they choose to go independent or they go mm. uh, corporate, it should be maybe signed. Yeah. Um, your, 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 your visual artist. Yeah. I know... Um, I'll tell you his name and I remember. Okay. But like, now for for you, I know you don't like your your corporate work. Um, not that I don't like it. I do like it. It's just that. Okay, okay. Let me let me okay, let, yeah. me, let me ask some. Let me yeah, ask some finish your, your and then sales yeah, yeah. So like, uh, but like, what would be the most advisable way? To actually go. Mm. Now I'm, I'm telling you, like, like you talk, you're telling people that are like, that maybe really, really like art mm-hmm. and they want to do something with it. You yeah. Know? And I feel like you're doing uh, more than enough to be able to dish out advice. Yeah. You know. So like, my first question mm-hmm. towards that would be like, what, um, 
what would be the wise way to go and how much you okay you dis okay. dislike <laughs> okay wait with know. corporates with corporates you, right <laughs> okay let me make an example you see the artworks that are in the fixed stores okay. like they are like beautiful artworks mm. like a friend of mine does those who's that so that's who's that Kev. Hey, yo, shout out to Kev. Kev Seven? Yes. Hey, yo, Kev. shout out to Kev Seven. That's the co host for the GNPS. You know, we yes. got Jenna and Janiela here. Shout out. Let me hear some honkers, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Sorry so, about yeah, that. so that's that's corporate because yeah. that's for a company and you're getting paid for that and you're 100% sure that, you know, there's going to be another store and I'm going to be the one doing that. So that puts food on the table. Mm. You have a job. You you are secure. You can okay. buy a car. You can you know you ha you can pay installments. You can you know you mm. can live. So that's that's good. You need that. So what you need to do is you take that and you build on it. So you do your corporate work so that you can be able to do your creative work. If you do the creative work without the corporate work, that's when you're a starving artist. Oh. Which is what we're trying to kill. Mm. That's why we're trying to do arts as a business. That's why I sell T-shirts. That's why I have mugs. That's why I've worked with Aromats. That's why I'd, I've worked with so many corporates. That's why you'd see my arts and furniture. That's why you'd see it on the side of a building. That's corporate arts where you're not just doing one thing. And if you die, your 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 brand is gone. You need to do things where your brand lives on when you are no, no longer around. And that's what artists do wrong. They want to be creative and just base it on creativity only. Mm. But when you're gone, who's going to create that? Because the only thing that's there, it's your original work. Straight up. So if, if you walk around, you, you'll probably bump into someone who's wearing the Aromat um, sneakers, like custom made. I painted those. So Mizi has them. You know, mm. It's that type of thing where you need to do different things that put you out there. So if people see that then another brand will want something another yeah. brand will want something then yeah. that's when you have a, a career that's a career so it's important to have the corporate and have the creative side because mm. the creative side also gets you jobs because they see what else can you, can you do they and you grow like you grow your sure. skills and that's when your name becomes expensive mm. that's when you say my piece is a hundred thousand take it or leave it heavy yeah so heavy. you do need both and you need that balance. So, <laughs> that the piece that you drew for your for your, from your dream. Mm -hmm. How much is that piece? How much is that piece? Is the question. <laughs> it's the million dollar question. <laughs> okay, cool. That piece is not for sale. Oh. Yes. It's. Hypothetically yeah, speaking, hypothet I just want to know plus minus so good to like, you know, how. About okay, cool. It's realistically, because of who I am right who now. Who you are, what you've done. Yeah, it would be around 20K, mm. like right now. Yeah, you heard it here first. <laughs> right I, think, now. I think you should go grab it right now. <laughs> It's you only should, 20K. You should go grab it right now. Go it's check oh, it's that. It's just a Yo, measly, lousy 20K. Mm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I know they show Before it, you know, after the exhibition, it's going to be 50K. So you just rather get it now. Get it for 20K before Feb. Take yes, it or leave it. Please do. Like, do yourself a Take favor. It it. Do yourself a favor. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, honestly. Yo. Mm. That's nice. That's yeah. nice. That's nice. Uh, yo, that's nice. <laughs> and you know what's funny? Can I just add something? Yeah. So, if, if my piece was 20K mm. and I put it in a gallery, I would get. Maybe they'd be like, okay, decrease it a little because then they take 50%, first of all. Like in galleries, 30%, 40%. That's why artists are starving. They'll take Because they don't the have any other choice but to They don't have galleries. a choice, exactly. That's where it gets out there. So, so it's the same as like, um, these local, okay, I only know one gallery. Yeah, most most galleries. I don't want to name names because I might Ish. never make it into a gallery again. <laughs> so some Kata, of them... is it like a... It is. It's, it's not a just, scam. Is it a scam? It's not a scam because they have so to pay. So why can't you name name? And not no, that I want you to. Yeah, but you know, it, it's the it's the it's the you know how they say the American dream. For every artist, it's the dream to be in a gallery. Like you, that's like to your own aim. The gallery. No, to your art to be in galleries. That's oh, the aim. Okay, okay, okay. But Ooh. yes, that's Ooh. where. Cause okay, let me make an example. Some like the one that I was in. 
my art, I overpriced it because I was like, okay, let's try something new. Let's, you know, level up, you know. Mm. So I was like, okay, 15K, 12, you know. And they were like, okay, cool, 30,000, you know, 24,000. I was like, why? And they were like, because 50%. We need to get 50%. So instead of you losing a lot. Now you're going to say 7K, 6K. You know, yeah. So rather just double it. And that's when it, it doesn't sell. Mm. That's when people wonder, why is your artwork 200,000? No, it's actually 100,000. 100, but they're getting... But I sat... Yeah, I took a piece of my mind and my creativity and my skills over 10 years and I created this piece just for you to get the same amount as me. Mm. Do you get me? Mm. So that's why artists are stagnant. And it's so hard to get out there because there's a lot of people benefiting from what you're doing and they don't understand that it's an extension of you. And that's the problem with the system. You know, that's why we're trying to break that way. I want to have an exhibition in the park. You can't tell me how much I should price. Anyone can come there. Mm. Do you get me? Mm. So we're trying to break that culture that why do I have to be quiet in a gallery? Mm. Why do I have to walk around looking like I know what I'm doing? Why isn't there someone to tell me what's going on here? Why is this blue? Why is there a lady who's cutting her wrist? Like, why is that? Why is there no one who's a representative for the artist? So that when I come back, I don't just buy any art. I still want that artist that I bought before. Because mm. they don't care about us. They move on to the next collection. So if there's a millionaire who goes to KZN SA, they find my work that time, they buy it. The next time they come back, my art is no longer there. They're not told about me, you know. They don't, that doesn't stick to them. They'll come back, there's a new collection, new piece. They find something else, and then I never benefit again, or my work is not, you know, instilled in their mind, because oh. now they move on to the next thing. Yeah. That's why we need more spaces that allow artists to showcase their work individually. Mm. Rent a house, a beautiful house. Replace all the arts with your arts and say, all the people with money, just come grab a drink. Walk around the house. Already I'm seeing this piece in a house, in the lounge, and I'm seeing the vision. Mm. And I want this in my house as is. You know what? Give me the furniture as well. Shit. We want that vibe. We want that now. That's where we're moving to as black people. Mm. As black people. Proudly black. Where you say, a, a black artist can say my art is one million with their chest and you have to buy it. Because you're not getting it anywhere else. Yeah. Yeah. You heard that, yeah. <laughs> you heard that on the PTC, oh. Yeah. Man, oh man. Mm. <laughs> yo, that's heavy. Mm. That's volume. Mm. Yo, 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 yo. Mm. I'm, I'm moved. <laughs> I'm glad. moved. I'm very yeah. moved. I'm very moved. Mm. <laughs> yo. So, yeah, I, I feel like, I feel like, I feel like that's, Yo, that's uh, that's a great initiative, mm. especially as I'm not even gonna say as zumutom mm. normal as a, as a woman, mm. but as a woman to yeah. for someone to come up with that, mm. um, yeah, mm. untouched. I'm glad. But yeah, that's round about all the time that we have. <laughs> okay. And that's a great way to you know wrap it up. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> Thank but uh, I would like, like, if there's, if there's, like, I, f I feel like you've already moved uh, mm -hmm. enough people that you, even if it's one person, yeah. I feel like. Yeah, definitely. That's more than enough person. Yes. Um, but, like, in closing, would you like to say anything to, to your camera there? Um, I actually have one sentence. That's all. One, one, one? What? One sentence. That's oh, it. That one there. Okay. Make it dramatic. Do what you do because nobody can do what you do the way you do it. And that's it. And you heard it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very, very much, Brian. This was so great. Mm -hmm. This is, I think this will be one of the best podcasts. Oh. Episode two, by the way. Uh, Episode two, out. by the way. <laughs> no offense, Kwabe. <laughs> 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 but yeah, thanks for, thanks for watching, guys. That's all the time that we have. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. Please leave those comments here. You can follow Unaledi on Naledi underscore odds? Uh, yes, Naledi underscore Is that like on all platforms? Yes, everywhere. Everywhere. Yes. Naledi underscore odds everywhere. Mm -hmm. um, you can follow this podcast on behind the creation underscore on Instagram. I think, uh, I think I'm only on Instagram. Mm. And you can follow me, tinyfilms underscore on 
everywhere else. Yeah. Um, shout out to my homeboy, Q underscore underscore productions. And General Jingiela, Mr. GMPS himself and DJ Motion, he out here on the ones and twos. Now I'm joking, Jalen's on the ones and twos. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, thanks for watching another episode, guys. I wish to see you guys soon. Don't forget to subscribe. 